thoughts on the Southside village conflict? I grew up in Southside, so I may be more than a little biased on the matter. They don't deserve your pity. If you have an opportunity to undermine them, you'll be doing the entire island a favor. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Are you people all right? We're clear. Yes, we are. You see that? There's a dragon all the way out here. You know what this means, right? You sound oddly excited for someone who was just cowering from it. Cowering? Me? Ooh, yes, uh, you. <clears throat> nonsense. It just caught me off guard, is all. Besides, if I'm to duel a dragon, I'll do so on my own terms. And who said anything about you dueling a dragon? Either way, that's not important right now. The presence of a dragon infers something more meaningful. Does it now? It means I finally have an opportunity to absorb a dragon soul, and with it enhance my understanding of the voice. I just need to find a way to track that dragon down, or lure him back this way. Give me a couple of hours and I should have something worked out. Good luck with that. That poor fool, she really thinks she's a Dover Keen. Who did this to her, I wonder? Wait a minute, I've got bone break fever. Acute bone break fever at that. Let's see if any of these shrines that uh, Roland has will cure me. We'll go with Arkay again. All right, it looks like I'm clear. Now, if I can just find my room, it'll be time for me to get some sleep. This wine bottle, I know who this belongs Something wrong? to. Yes, your wine bottle is in my room. And I better not find another one in there, or you'll pay dearly. Now at last, some rest. Oh, another dream. And in, and in the dream stood within an abandoned castle garden. In the middle of the overgrown area, a strange sort of sundial stood. Pearly disks all around it. You sensed movement in the corner of your vision and looked up in time to see a figure disappearing inside from upon the balcony. Blue lightning arced across the sky, though it was stormless and for a moment the sun seemed to wink. Well, these dreams, I wonder what purpose they have, other than to annoy me. Thank you for opening the door. You're dismissed. All right. Oh, you've done some redecorating, I see. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, I suppose after a good night's sleep, I can tolerate your nonsense. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Good day. Okay, so I think I've established the characters for my novel. I know you're supposed to write a little yourself into the work, so... I've made myself the beautiful princess trapped in a lonely tower by her strict and unstable father. I even made you a character too. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Anyway, <clears throat> the plot follows our princess as she wishes upon a dying star 
asking the divines to cure the ailment of her dying sister. Are you finished yet? When, all of a sudden, a handsome knight comes riding to meet her. And is that my character? What? No, you're the lovely, quirky, yet undeniably clumsy chambermaid. A maid? How dare you? This is a stupid book. Hey! You haven't even heard the full story yet. I don't need to. Why a chambermaid? She wasn't always a maid. She? Back You've before got accident, so much She was gall. a legendary sailor and a treasure hunter. The entire kingdom knew of and adored her adventures. You're writing me as a woman? That's what you got out of it? Ugh. Men. And what about her accident? Oh, <clears throat> right. I uh, forgot to mention her backstory. She nearly drowned at sea before being rescued by her crew. And ever since then, she's been terrified of the open sea. Well, if you're going to write this drivel... Right! So, the knight informs our princess that a cure exists for her sister's rare disease, but... It rests on island-riddled pirates and cannibals. The king forbids our princess to go. <laughs> but she sneaks out anyway, with the help of the chambermaid, and plans to sail off and find the cure and... Uh, well, that's all there is at this point. I know it's not much, but what do you think? Well, I'm not fond of this chambermaid thing. That's because you don't know where it's headed yet. All in good time, Bilbo. All in good time. <laughs> Is there anything else on your mind and I'm afraid to even ask? Maybe sometime later. Good. No amount of sleep could have prepared yeah. me for that. All right, I think there's one last person that I didn't speak to yesterday. Yes, you. How goes it? Oh, good. You don't want to talk to me. All right, it's time for us to get out of here and see what we can do to help the citizens of this island. All right, so yes, I want Bryn, Tassius, and Iriel. Oh, this is much better. All right, let's get to these villages and see what we can do to help them. I'm ready to go home. Wait a minute. More of these people? Hold on, hold on. Come on! You're making me Do some archery practice. Oh, what's yes. the matter? Someone's dead. Still, 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 Get them! My wounds will heal. Yours won't. No. No more. I Finish her. Ugh, I hate it when I end up wearing their blood. Good work. Hmm. 
the staff of Dramora Churro. So these are Daedra worshippers too. No wonder they are the outcast. Circlet of Immortality. Can I even sell these things? Kill this Dia. Let's continue. There should be a village over here. You. Oh, why yeah. you go? You don't. Do you have anything worthwhile Make it quick. to say? Apparently not. Come on. Oh, here's someone. What? Hello. You know well, hello. Something. Why do the Daedra leave your village alone? If I had a seashell for every time someone asked that, I'll tell you what I told him. No one is certain why. We just know that it is so. Hmm. I think you're holding something back. You know something. Surely, if I knew why, I'd tell the rest of the island. The only thing I know for certain is that Dagon does not approve of us accepting refugees from other villages. Two rapings ago, when we did just that, the gates opened right over us. That aside, it is as much a mystery to me as it is to the rest of the Isle. Hmm, refugees, that's interesting. Is there anything you need help with? I suppose there's no harm in asking. The Elder from the Norstad village has become... aggressive over these recent gate openings. With no one else to blame, she points the finger at those who are more fortunate. She's even gone as far as to express interest in raiding my people to satiate her twisted sense of justice. The only way to ensure their safety is to remove her from the equation, <laughs> if you catch my meaning. Remove? Meaning that you want me to destroy her? Certainly not. Such a peculiar assumption. But if she were to somehow mysteriously keel over, there could be a reward available for you. All right, let me discuss this with my companions first before making a decision. Take all the time you need. I know only what has happened, not why. Be at peace. Dagon has spared us so far. There's no cause for his mercy to fail now. I suspect the reaping will pass over us once again. Of course. I would just feel more at ease. Tassius, if I, knew I don't why. want to be rash so would in my the decisions. rest of us. Huh? What are your thoughts on so the Norstead village of... conflict? I will not hide my bias. The Nors are my kin. Right or wrong, they have my support. All right. You. Something on your mind? Is there something on yours? I've got it! What? What? I'm sick of your sweat. Does that count? Hmm. What are you talking about? You remember the dragon we saw circling above us? Well, I've devised a method to lure him back. 
right? We, we are in the middle of a different mission. Oh, you can be so annoying. How so? Dragons debate each other through the strength of their shouts, right? The way I figure, I should be able to challenge him with my Thuum. He would be a coward not to answer. All right, great. When do we start? I want to get somewhere high to ensure my voice reaches him. The top of Mount Andor should suffice. We can head there anytime you're ready. Good afternoon. Good, I'm glad you're not going to preempt our mission. All right, so... In what we... way can I be of assistance? Oh, I need to talk to you. Did you see it? Brand yes. Dragon. What are your Some thoughts on the Norstead village conflict? The West folk cheated the last reaping and have made no attempt to share their secret with the rest of us. They think their lives are worth more than ours. I stand with the Norse on this. Hmm, I see. And is there something else on your mind? Are you actually interested this time? Well, I could pretend to be. Tell me about your past. You're lucky you caught me in a good mood. Yes, I'm <clears throat> genuinely interested. Well, my father was the leader of a distinguished band of outcasts, and my mother was a member of the neighboring village. The two factions had opposing viewpoints, to put it mildly. My parents were forced to keep their relationship a secret. I managed it until, well, until I came along. And how did your, uh, your birth affect it? My mother was a Breton, and my hmm. father was the only orc on the island. It didn't take long for people to connect the dots. Hmm. My mother's reputation with the community suffered, but she was able to shield me from most of the animosity. Right up until her death. At any rate. From then on, the opinions of my fellow villagers were plentiful and unfiltered. I guess when they looked at me, they saw the daughter of their rival, and nothing more. Not a neighbor, not a colleague, and most certainly, not a friend. I was never officially cast out, but I might as well have been. And what happened to your mother? Oblivion Gate, the Daedra. I never got a chance to say goodbye. And is your father still alive? Maybe I'd know if he ever bothered to reach out. Either way, I think it's unlikely. He spends his days picking fights and chugging rum. People like that tend not to live long. But I must have forgotten how much I dislike talking about myself. It's a stale story, with little to no point. Can we just talk about something else? Yes, Want something yes from of me? course. All right, well, I guess we need yes. to go and talk to the, the Noors. Am, am I finished with you? Why, hello. All right, I have not made a decision, I don't believe, not yet. All right, let's go this way. Good 
I had no idea my arrows were so strong. Well, that takes care of them. I think I do have some enchantments on this bound weapon. Oh, are you alright? That affect a Daedra. Excellent. Oh, now are these villagers? Burned to... No, these are Daedra. Burn to a crisp. Take these hearts. Oh, here's a villager. Songs of the Return. And I believe I gained a level through this confrontation. I thought I learned this one. I suppose I could sell it. Well, wasn't there a merchant somewhere? Another corpse for the pile. So many Daedra. Discord, creatures and people will attack anyone nearby. Spreading chaos. Is something wrong? Unbelievable. Another Kate that threatens the safety of my people. This is the fourth one in a week. It sounds as if you're being targeted. I'll tell you who's responsible. Please do. We all know the reaping is nearly upon us, and with it, the number of active gates have multiplied immensely. Everyone has to keep their heads on a swivel. Everyone except those accursed West folks. The last iteration of the reaping passed over them, and they've suffered no losses to Daedra since. They know something that we don't. I suppose, given their troubled history, that should come as no surprise. And what do you mean by their troubled history? During the Oblivion Crisis, a member from their village sold his soul to Mehrunes Dagon to save the island. A deal that would spare us his wrath by staggering its destruction, killing three quarters of the population every 30 years or so. In return, he would serve Dagon until death. The man responsible for the reaping was a Westfolk. And now, as the reaping dawns once more, his old village goes about unscathed? That cannot be dismissed as coincidence. Hmm, I wonder if you're referring to the Warden. Anyhow, that doesn't prove that they're responsible for it. They haven't been plagued by a single Oblivion Gate. Even the Southerons have to sacrifice their own to keep the peace. Yet, somehow, these folks are exempt? My people suffer while theirs live in comfort and safety. There's your proof. All right, well, you might have a point there. Is there anything I can help with? Yes. Find out what they know. There's a reason the Daedra leave them alone. And so far, they've refused to share it. 
As an outsider with no association with us, perhaps you can pry the answer from their elder. Well, I think he gave me the answer about not allowing refugees into their village. But I'll speak to him about it. Good. Getting the information won't be easy, I suspect. But I have faith in your ability to do what's necessary. All right, Tassius, since this is your village, we'll try to spare them. I wonder what I can do with all these Daedra hearts. You there. You come from the mainland, right? Are you yes. carrying any septums by chance? I may. What does it matter to you? Isn't this a seashell economy? Just so happens I'm the only tradesman on the island who barters in gold. If you're looking to trade, I'm the one you need to talk to. That's interesting. Why don't you use the local currency? Unlike the rest of these sods, I plan on getting out of here one day. And seashells aren't going to be any good when I make it to the mainland. Hmm, you're very wise. So what do you have for sale? Take a look. It pretty much boils down to nothing. You do have a lot of gold. Ah, I did have something to unenchant. brought my own sigil stone. <laughs> All right. That was from my conjuration mastery. I think that's... with them and see if they're going to pit us against uh, each other. Something's here. What is it? Is it more of these? Outcast. I can take you. Why? 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 Because you're hostile to me. Not right here. It's my arrows don't fall. Oh, huh? Eat steel, outsider. Firing on the on a delay. Uh. Uh. Yeah. You're dead. You hear me? Dead. Yeah. Damn hell. You'll pay for this. Get him! 
Go ahead, destroy him. I think that one twitched. Bones. Oh, Tassius. All right, so that's what you do. Hmm, there's an island over here. Doesn't seem to be inhabited, though. bullets. Squire. I'll take the seashells. They have chests in some very interesting places. Circlet of Knowledge. and armor can be improved. I'll take the seashells. Oh, we've got more. Coming right at me. Necklace of Reconstruction recharges weapons 30 points per second up to the charge level. Oh, that's that's helpful. Another island this way. Not an island, another town. There it is. Eliona. You want something? Is there yes. something I can do for you? Tidings. Perhaps. Hello. What might you need? Tidings. I need more than hello and tidings. Is there an elder here? God's. I'm all ears. I. What about you? What can I do for you? Who are we supposed to talk to? 
Who are you? Yeah. What do you need? Yeah? Yeah. Huh? Tidings. Hmm? Well, hello. Okay, through here. How goes the construction? Oh, we are ahead of schedule, sir. At this pace, I expect our defenses will be operational in a few short weeks. The sooner the better. Gates have begun opening at an accelerated pace. Make no mistake, the reaping will soon dawn. All will be ready, sir. Dagon's seat will crumble at the forefront of our ramparts. You've worked tirelessly to get us here. Time may be of the essence, but fatigue will only impede our progress. We'll pick up again tomorrow. Excuse In what me. Way can I be of assistance? Why are you building defenses? Our neighbors to the south may have the intellect of a moldy sweet roll, but they've managed to get one thing right. This recent wave of Oblivion Gates is no coincidence. The reaping is nearly upon us. And yet how do they respond? They throw up their hands and ask mercy from the Daedric Lord of Destruction. As if Dagon cares at all for their pleas. They paint this half of the island as an easy target for a Daedric invasion. Well, he can sacrifice his people if he wants, but I'll make no such offering of mine. Hmm. All right, well. Even with these defenses, you won't be able to hold off the Daedra. My people need something to believe in. Something that makes them feel safe. Sure, Dagon could conquer this village if he desired to. Not with the fiercest army could we stop him. My hope is that he'll take the path of least resistance, raiding our pacifistic neighbors to the south instead. And why wouldn't he raid both villages? If you're familiar with the Reaping, then you know this event does not massacre everyone. Every 30 years, when a new generation has been ushered in, the Daedric Prince sends his minions to destroy three quarters of the island's population. My plan involves encouraging him to collect that quota from the other villages. Hmm, I see. Well, is there anything I can help with? Yes. But this stays between the two of us. The Southern's Elder is a threat to the safety of my people. I've seen him watching us as we construct our defenses. I suspect he might be developing a plan to sabotage them. I want you to silence him before he's afforded the opportunity. <laughs> and what if he's succeeded by someone more dangerous? We needn't worry about that. His second-in-command is a weak, timid man whose complacency will make them easy pickings for the Daedra. All right, I want to discuss this with my companions before making a decision. Of course, but tally not. The sooner he dies, the sooner my people are safe. All right, as residents of the island, Tassius... I've got your back. Thoughts on the Southside village conflict? The Reaping is more complex than the aliens believe. Walls would do very little to save them. The choice isn't easy, but allow me to suggest siding with the Sutherans. At least with them, you won't be forced into committing murder. I see. And Bryn? I'm all ears. Thoughts on the Southerside village conflict? I grew up in Southerside, so I may be more than a little biased on the matter. They don't deserve your pity. Hmm. If you have an opportunity to undermine them, you'll be doing the entire island a favor. I see. And was there something else on your mind? I've been thinking about the last time we talked. It's been so long since my village disowned me. I almost forgot the events that led up to it. 
I thought you said they didn't disown you. I said they never cast me out. But it's not like I was ever a member either. Just someone who occupied the space, I guess. Hmm. That must have been difficult. Do you know what it's like to be excluded from your peers? To believe um, there's something wrong with you because of what or if I had who peers, you look I'm like? Not sure. To be among a community that despises your very existence. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I can't say I do. Then I envy you. All I wanted was to fit in, to belong. Others could do it so well, it seemed, and yet... I struggled. It's why I took to studying nature. I found it to be more foretelling and less judgmental. The fires of Mount Andor don't care that I'm a half-orc. They would disintegrate me just as fast if I were a Nord or Elf. I think that's kind of special. Well, have you ever considered looking for your father? Of course. Things like that aren't easily dismissed. At the end of the day, I guess I'm more concerned that he is alive than that he isn't. What about the beginning of the day? <laughs> Why is that? What would I say? How should I feel? Grateful? Rejoiced? Angry? Resentful? I don't know. Surely I'd be glad to see him, but at the same time... I can't forgive him. Not for leaving me like that. I... I don't know. And I'd rather not think about it either. Can we move on to something else? Of course. All right, well, we need to go to Suthaside and Suthaside, whatever its name is, and talk to them. Thank you.